The most magical day of the year for KDP content creators and authors has finally arrived, and it's time for you to sign up for the KDP Wizard free beta. Very exciting stuff. So the first thing you're going to need to do is get set up with this brand new, totally awesome Chrome browser extension to help you with managing and listing your KDP account. First things first, you can just head over to our website to access all the easy links, or you can access them on our social media pages to get started with our beta. So the first thing you're going to want to do is go ahead and add the extension. I'm just going to open everything in a new tab to make it nice and easy. So you'll see I'm brought to the page here where I can go ahead and add a new uh, Chrome browser extension. I've just changed my email address so that I'm in my right Google account. I'm simply going to click add to Chrome. I'm going to give the extension the permissions that it requires by clicking add extension. And as you can see, we just wait a few moments and the KDP wizard extension has been installed. And I'm just gonna just drag that over a little bit so that it's easy to see. When I click on the KDP wizard extension icon, you'll see that I am brought to the pop-up where it prompts me to go ahead and get a free beta Gumroad license key. I'm gonna simply click grab a license key to get that process started. It'll take just a few moments. We can just go ahead here at the Gumroad page, click make sure that you click here where it says tier and choose beta and then under name of fair price you can simply enter in zero i'm going to go ahead and click subscribe at this point it's going to prompt you to either create a new gumroad account uh, or you can go ahead and log into your existing gumroad account i'm just going to create a new one for the sake of simplicity and click get and at this point, I'll be presented with my brand new, totally free, totally awesome Gumroad license key to get moving along with my KDP Wizard extension. So the first step here, we're going to go back to our Chrome browser extension. We're going to close this little modo window, and we're going to go ahead and paste in our Gumroad license key. If you didn't manage to catch it in that last step, you can always just reference the email that you'll have received from Gumroad, or log into your Gumroad account, hit the dashboard, and you will find it there. You'll see there are a few other options here that you you can choose, uh, but you can just go ahead and stick with the default options as well, and you can always come back and reference these later. I'm going to go ahead and click Save. My Gumroad license key is now saved. As you can see, I have the KDP Wizards beta, and I am all set up. Next step is going to be, you're just going to follow through the steps to create a free Airtable account or log into your Airtable account. If you're already using our Merch Wizard product, this isn't going to be relevant to you because you'll already have an Airtable account. And if you are not, you can just simply click the Create an Airtable Account button. That'll take you to Airtable.com, and you can go ahead and get that set up. One, two, three. Now, step two, generate an Airtable account, uh, API account key. I said that backwards. Generate an Airtable account API key. This is an easy one. You're simply going to head over into your Airtable account. If it's a new Airtable account and you are not currently using Merch Wizard, you're going to follow this step. If this is an existing Airtable account that you've been using with Merch Wizard, or if you've already set up KDP Wizard, or if you're using other types of API integrations with your Airtable account, you're going to completely ignore this. But it's very simple. Generate an API key if we click on this button it brings us into our account page you can very simply click regenerate API key or generate API key and it's going to give you that code if you happen to ha be a merch wizard user and you do this even though you don't need to and you shouldn't then it's very simple just make sure that you pop then into merch wizard uh, and replace your Airtable account key with the new one that you've just generated. Okay, I just made that sound a lot harder than it is. It's really not hard. If you're using Airtable already, skip that step. If you're not, go click generate an API key. You're all set. Boom. Next step. Go to the KDP Wizard starter template base and click copy base in the upright corner, upper right corner. Take me to the starter base. We're going to click that button. It's going to take us to the brand new, totally awesome KDP starter base. And wow, look at all of the information that you're going to be able to organize. So awesome. We're going to simply click copy base. That's going to go ahead and click the, uh, excuse me, and copy the base to our uh, individual Airtable accounts. I'm going to go ahead and just save that here into my Airtable account by clicking copy base. And at this point, it's now added into my uh, Airtable account. I'm going to go ahead and click 
on the KDP Wizard Chrome extension. Once again, to return to my list of steps for easy setup, and I'm gonna see what the next step is. Well, I need from my new tar a table base to click help and then click API documentation. And then as you can see, step five is just to click add base to KDP Wizard on the upper right hand side of the screen on that very page. So let's do it. I'm gonna go ahead and get into my new starter base. I'm gonna click the help button. I'm going to click API documentation. And once the page loads, you'll find that I have this button at the top, add base to KDP wizard. I'm going to click that right there. And there we go. The base is now added to KDP wizard. If I pop open my KDP wizard extension, you'll find that we're now all set. If I click clear filters, you always want to clear filters to get in the newest information. You'll see now that I can see the sample books that have already been loaded into the starter base. Now what you can do at this point is just pop open into the starter base, go ahead and select all of them right click and click delete all selected records if you just want to get that starter information out of there because you don't need it and it's not relative to your account. That's it. You're all set. What an exciting weekend you're going to have playing with the all new KDP Wizard Beta. We hope you love it. If you find any bugs, please hit up our website. There's a page where you can report bugs. We also have a list of known issues heading into the beta. Please make sure that you check that out. Um, also accessible through our website navigation. Uh, and I think that's about it. Join us on our Facebook group. Ask us lots of questions because we, we love them and it's fun. And uh, that's it. See you later. Bye now.